Put down your phones and pick up your favorite writing instrument of choice. Because Pen Pals, we're celebrating National Handwriting Day. Yes, there's a national holiday for pretty much everything you could think of, including handwriting. You might be skeptical that a pen retailer such as Goldspot Pens is promoting such a holiday, but I assure you, we're not making this stuff up. The Writing Instrument Manufacturers Association did. See, back in 1977, the WIMA established National Handwriting Day on January 23rd, which is John Hancock's birthday. The founding father is best known for his rather large and flamboyant signature on the Declaration of Independence. In 2018, Handwriting Day was officially endorsed by members of Congress, emphasizing handwriting's benefit in education, cognitive development, and refining motor skills. Unfortunately, most American public school curriculums replace cursive handwriting with tablets, laptops, and standardized testing. So it's up to us to promote the perks of putting pen to paper. Here's a quote from prolific English novelist Graham Greene. My two fingers on a typewriter have never connected with my brain. My hand on a pen does. A fountain pen, of course. Ballpoint pens are only good for filling out forms on a plane. Many scientific studies back Graham's assertion that writing by hand is better for your brain than tapping at a keyboard or staring at a computer screen. Look in the description below for articles that support this statement. Speaking for our followers, and myself, handwriting during the pandemic has helped the anxiety and emotional distress associated with social isolation. With most of our work involving a screen of some sort, it's a blissful change of pace to pick up a pen and write without distraction. So with a writing instrument in hand and paper at the ready, here are 10 ways you can celebrate National Handwriting Day in 2021. Number one, writing a letter. Emails and texts can be so impersonal. These low fidelity forms of communication pale in comparison to receiving a handwritten letter or note. Even if you write a note for someone you live with, it will be special because we rarely see each other's handwriting these days. Number two on our list, write a shopping or to-do list. Personally, I found it more difficult to do grocery shopping during the pandemic. Not only am I keeping six feet from everyone in the store, I can't use facial recognition from my phone to unlock it and access the shopping list app. Instead, handwrite the shopping list so that there's less dependence on the smartphone. Also, stick to your New Year's resolutions by writing down your tasks daily. Take the big goals like losing 15 pounds and break them up into smaller bite-sized tasks that can be done today, like going for a 30-minute walk or making a healthy recipe for dinner. Number three, take handwritten notes. Instead of screenshots, voice memos, and saving presentation slides, have a pen and paper handy during meetings to jot down essential takeaways and important bullet points. Number four, start a journal. A journal might sound like a long-term commitment, but it's a lot easier than you think. Just simply write whatever is on your mind. It's a private, safe space for you to explore complex emotions, relive memories, and express yourself without judgment. If you open up and leave it all out on the page, I think you'll be amazed at the result. Number five, write a pangram. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog is the most popular pangram, which is a sentence that uses all of the letters of the alphabet. Since it uses all the letters, it's an ideal activity to practice handwriting and to test how well a pen writes. The sentences can seem wacky and funny to read out loud. For example, when zombies arrive, quickly fax judge Pat. Amazingly, Few discotheques provide jukeboxes. And then you have the five boxing wizards jump quickly. Number six, post a handwritten quote on social media. Instead of sharing the latest Baby Yoda meme, handwrite an inspirational quote, take a picture, and post it on social media. It's a fun way to be part of the greater pen community. Be sure to include what type of pen and ink you are using in the post description. Add the hashtag National Handwriting Day to join the online celebration. Number seven, write a currently inked list. For fountain pen enthusiasts who like to play with their pen and ink combinations, that certainly is me, dedicate a page in your notebook to all the various pens you have inked up today. It could be as simple as listing the name of the pen, the nib size, and the corresponding ink color. Get as creative as you'd like by swabbing the ink or doodling a pattern. Number eight, buy a new pen. Of course, we would suggest treating yourself to a new pen on National Handwriting Day. 
Not that pen addicts need an excuse to get a new pen, but here it is. You can also gift an affordable starter pen to a young writer to get them hooked on the enjoyment of writing. Number nine, practice your signature. In today's digital driven world, we don't have as many opportunities to sign our name. However, signing our name is still reserved for the most important tasks, like legal documents, applications, and picking up the restaurant bill. Practice signing your name so your John Hancock looks presentable and befitting your personality. And last but not least, number 10, practice by taking a page out of someone else's book. If you're looking to improve your handwriting, guide sheets and practice books can be rather repetitive and lacking in excitement. Put the time in by rewriting pages from your favorite book. The content will keep you engaged as you are copying it word for word. Plus, copying will teach you how to write like the author by focusing on sentence structure, grammar, and word choice. We hope that you celebrate National Handwriting Day and that some of these tips develop into habits that benefit your creativity and mental health. If you'd like to learn more about how to improve your handwriting, check out our video on how to use fountain pens to improve your handwriting and a follow-up video on handwriting styles for your fountain pen. And before you shut off all of your devices and relax with a pen and paper, hit the thumbs up button if you're celebrating National Handwriting Day this year. Did we just become pen pals? Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a new Goldspot Pens video. Stay inky, my friends. Take care.